I'm in the drive-thru at the moment. I just want to see if the car actually, look at that, it actually works in here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. That that actually did that on its own around. Let's still do it. Still doing it. Still doing it. Still doing it. Oh. <laughs> The smart summon feature that dropped the other day here in the UK and EU was meant to be a big new feature for us to use, but it didn't work, and it didn't work anywhere. Now, as you can see, it is working slightly, and I tried it this morning on my driveway. It was a little bit scary, so what I decided to do instead was drive over to a charging station and charge my car, but there was a little bit of a queue, so I decided to play around with the summon feature in the car park. So I'm gonna hold it down. Warning, please monitor vehicle surroundings for people, animals, or unpredictive movement. Okay. Do I hold it down? Summon failed. Please ensure... Oh, okay, so we're too far away from it. So let's go here. Right, so I want I want the car to go from there to, to here. Let's try that. Okay, apparently this, is, this might be too far as well. The lights are on on the car, though. Yeah, summon failed. Please ensure your phone key is within range. Oh my god, okay, so six meters is a lot closer than I thought it was. This looks about three, maybe four. Come to me. Come all the way from there to here. Okay, it's working now. Whoa, what the heck? That's it. <laughs> let's try something slightly different. We're going to go on the summon instead. And let's click the smart summon button. And you can see here, this actually used to be a field, but now... BP, I guess, own it and are doing some pretty cool stuff. Let's say we want the car to come all the way down to... Uh, I want it to go, like, over there, so probably about there. Please move the pin closer to the vehicle. Okay. There. Press and hold. Okay, here we go. So one car's actually coming out. Let's see if this is going to do it. Waiting for phone to come back within range. So apparently, we're still not within range. Like, we're, we're about two, maybe three meters away from the car here. All right, now it's starting to do it. But again, he's kind of getting... Yeah, it's turning. It needs to go right. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Is it going to turn right and go this way for us? Waiting for phone to come back in range. So I've literally... I think I've got to like hold it like a lead. Yeah, this is what I've got to do. Okay, where is it going? Where is it going? I have not a clue. It's taking a left turn. It's meant to be going right, and it can even see that on the screen. It knows it's meant to be going right here. Waiting for phone to come back in range. Holy hell, this is ridiculous. Okay, it's taking a right turn. Now it's stopping. Now it's reversing. Don't think, it's just learning, it's just learning. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we're, we're going back really fast. Okay, back to here. Now it's going forward again. Oh my days, this is, this is awful. Right, I'm just gonna stand here and let it do whatever it thinks. And again, it just stops because it goes out of range. The car is now parked at a charging station pretty badly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take six steps away, okay? So this should be probably less than six meters. There you go. That's just about less than six meters, okay? And we're going to do the come to me setting. Let's try this one more time here. So you can see that the car's seeing bits and it's showing us it actually on the, on the screen, which is pretty cool. But it's, it's not moving. Summon failed. Please ensure phone key is within range. So we're going to take two steps forward. So we should be about four meters now. And you can see it says phone key connected at the bottom there. I'm going to try again. Okay, we're now close enough. It's now reversing. Waiting for phone to come back in range. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go by the side of it, by the side of the door here. And I'm going to stop here and see what the car does. So it's actually reversed out with pretty good confidence. And now it's looking at me. And now it's stopped. So I guess the only thing I could see that being really useful for is if you're parked really closely to two car cars. If you're behind it, it will reverse itself out. But you could just do that obviously with the normal summon uh, just by controlling the forward for you. And this works normally a lot better because it's just going forward. So I want the car to come out and pick me up from about here. And what I want it to do is reverse out and kind of turn in front of me. But um, I don't think it will do that. Let's see. Let's see what the car thinks is going on. Waiting for phone to come back in range. 
Is that close enough? No, it's still not close enough. And now it just says summon complete. So again, it's all about the range seems to be the issue here. Let's try it again. Aha, here we go. We have life. Now I can see that the wheel's kind of trying to decide to turn, but it's not sure because it can clearly see that line around it. It's really undecisive. Waiting for phone to come back in range. Look, look how close I am. <laughs> Waiting for phone to come back in range. Waiting for phone to come back in range. Yeah. Okay, so the come to me feature completely sucks and it doesn't work at all as of yet. Uh, let's see if from this location we can get out using the normal smart summon setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this. Oh, look, it knows that it's a charger. I'm going to set this so that the car goes kind of over, where should I go? Over to there. And that should be that little exit. So I need to be within six meters. So about here. And it hopefully won't hit me from this being behind here. This is definitely looking more promising, as in it's reversing. I would hope the tyres actually would turn the other way so that it would kind of get ready to come out and swing around. Waiting for the phone to come back in range. Seriously, this is, this is in range. So at this point, it's just reversing, which is... Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no, waiting for the phone to come back in range. This having to connect to Bluetooth all the time is a real hindrance. I feel like the antenna is somewhere in the middle here as well. All right, I'm just going to stand here and let it do its thing. And that's it. That says complete. And what I would assume is that is the max amount that it's done. So it thinks it's, it's probably done about 20 meters there. Now, sadly, at this point, the microphone is completely inaudible, but this is actually one of the most impressive bits I found that the car was able to do. Now, we're in the parking lot here, and what I'm asking it to do is just navigate around these two curbs and go through the gap and go onto a normal public road. So I didn't expect it to be able to do this at the start because it is driving onto a public road, but it actually started to do it, and it really carefully navigated itself around the curbs and it was really obvious that it was looking at the curbs because at this point it started to go forward again and then it started to go around it making sure that it didn't slice the curb on the left hand side and then i had to run a little bit to keep up with it because it was doing a few miles an hour and it went onto the main road now at this point that it did run out and this was the maximum distance achieved but i actually was quite happy with that and i thought it was probably the most impressive bit of the whole recording today let's smart summon it back into the car park. actually i want it to go over there and park behind that car so let's see if it will do that it says that it can all right this is going to be a really really big test i wish it showed us what the car could see though in this situation but sadly it doesn't you see though it is working itself around on the outside i've got to stick with it obviously oh my god i gotta run okay i'm still with you i'm still with you go car go that's all right it's worked itself around that there. Oh, but as you can see, as soon as maximum distance is reached, it just stops. So that to there is 20 meters. That's quite cool. I, I do like that, but the whole 20 meter thing is ridiculous. But the whole six meter thing is definitely the most ridiculous thing. Let's see if we can restart it at all. Oh, let's see, it wants to. Oh, it's reversing, hello, hello. Maybe it could go back over the meters it's already done. And then again, maximum distance has been achieved. That guy over there in the Nissan must be like, what is this person doing? It is so, so weird. Also, let me know if you have any more ideas of what I can do with Smart Summon. So I'm gonna actually put it outside the circle here and I'm gonna tell it to go down there to the to the road. Uh, but as you know, okay, so move the pin closer. So the pin's got to be within this 20 meter circle, which should be apparently just at the end there. Let's see if it'll do it or see if we get the same error as we got before. No, Summon is not available on public roads. So let's reverse it. I'm going to try and reverse it all the way back over there. And then I'm going to try the um, Smart Summon again. Let's see if from this distance it's made any difference. I want the car to go backwards. And I'm going to try it from there. Interesting. Look at that. It's now working. Right, well, let's stop it. Let's stop it. So that, there must be like an invisible line here that apparently defines a public and a private road. So I'm going to put that over there. Okay, summon is complete apparently. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, now it's working. Interesting. So now it's actually working 
on a public road and in fact it's driving itself to a public road and now it's stopped because that's the maximum distance so there was like an invisible line here that it's been able to go over but it won't start here it's really quite strange. I, I don't get our regulations at all. Here's something random I just found out as well. If you're actually in the car and you tell the car to come to me, it will drive. And look, it's actually driving us out right there and it's taking us down there for some reason. Now, what did you think about Smart Summon? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Mine is that the killer thing is having to connect to Bluetooth. Having to be connected via Bluetooth sucks. I believe that is some UN or EU regulation that for some reason uh, America didn't sign up for and doesn't have to do. I like to be able to see on my phone what the car was kind of seeing and thinking. That was quite cool, but that was only on the come to me feature. And as we've seen, being six meters away from your car, it just doesn't make a difference. Like you, you will never do it. You'll never need it. Um, and people, I understand people are saying for tight car parking spaces, yeah, but we already had the other summon feature for that. And I probably prefer, I would probably use that. I do use that. Whereas this one, I don't feel I have enough control over and it's definitely not ready yet. It's got a lot of work to do. Um, some other good news though, actually, is this. Open the glove box.